Finding out and figuring out obscure lines with this deck are <laughs> quite exciting because you've never done them before. But then you come across a freestyle line and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And this is one of those lines. Like the more you play the deck, you learn these, which is pretty cool. So this is gonna be covering up like the the one ofs. Like what do you do when you open up one ofs? A really cool line because it gives you protection on your speeder. Um, it doesn't protect your imprint. That's the only downside. But nonetheless, it's a suboptimal hand, so like it's as good as it's gonna get, which is not bad at all. So if you if you ever see yourself in a situation where you have these in your hand and you have access to start a synchro, you can make you can get the speeder with a crystal wing protection, which is nice. If you open up this card variation, right? This is basically this. But let's say if you do the junk, send doppel and try to go for it, that sometimes it works. But this this will bypass that, so that means you're not as vulnerable as if your junk were to be stopped, which is pretty cool. So let's just get let's go straight to it. <laughs> uh, you have a random card; it doesn't really matter what it is. The only ones you you should be considering is this. So you summon this or set it, either one, it's fine. Uh, you tribute it for starter's effect. Um, chain one, chain two. People, it's debatable whether they interact here with uh, because like they're not really sure what you're what they're going up against. So they just want to stop you getting any resources or generating any resources. But once they read it and they find out that you don't have any health combo, they're, they're, they have like a sense of relief and they interact with it. Be like, okay, I'll just stop this. I just won't let you get a search and you can't go help anyway. So what, what am I really scared of? They Then they start considering, oh, there's the Void Synchros. What can they do? There's an Omega. That's the most obvious one. There's a Chaos Ruler, you know, stuff like that. And they try to, try to anticipate. Um, but more often than not, they just don't interact with it. <laughs> and then you're gonna get insert your illumination, uh, add illumination, and then you're gonna use illumination because you're gonna need, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna need to use its uh, level module. You're gonna send your starter synchron, right? And then you're gonna go uh, effective jet synchron, pitch, distrudo, special, and then you're gonna go ahead and use illumination, increasing a trail by one. Like, of course, you can just go like, um, effect, right? Uh, it'll be level three, reduce, go go into charge, draw one, get a token, go speed it that way. But that makes this one a level one and that being a level six, so that's a seven. So you're gonna replace that in this way. You see what I mean? Um, so special this, it's a level two, right? This is a level five. You synchro these two away, they get banished. So you're gonna start a charge. So Chain one, chain two. Summon the token, right? And then this, and then you draw a card, doesn't matter what it is. You draw a card, you synchro this into Crystal Wing, right? And then this is where you have your speeder, right? So then you go speeder, this gets banished, summon speeder, and then whatever it is that you have in hand, right? It doesn't really matter, you just shuffle. This is why playing a second level one is relevant for this line because if you didn't play, if you don't play Cybers, then you won't be able to do this line, you know, because like you won't have another level one. It's debatable whether you want to have that extra garnet or I guess not really a garnet, depending on your hand, but like it's another tuner that you don't really want to have. But but you like you have to consider that majority of the deck is meant to have synergy with each other, with itself, like Caligo, Jester, so. It's always gonna have a, like a way to make this useful and relevant. So that's something to always just consider, right? So then uh, this is the random card you drew. So, okay, convert. And then you're gonna, so you have a few options here, right? So you have a ruler play and then a baron at least. But let's just start to see if we can um, progress our, our combo. So we're just gonna go into ruler. So use the fact, cause this, if we hit like a jester or Doppels, that's gonna be really nice. Or Caligos even, that'll be really nice. So we're gonna get foolish. So one, two, three, four, five, okay. So there's no level twos in here. So the Jester isn't too great, but this can uh, level module. So that's pretty nice. So we can either get follow up, you know, or the Jester. Let's just go to get the Jester. So this goes to gray, we add Jester in hand. Uh, Cause that's like the best case scenario. What like off of ruler? That's the, the those are the cards you want to uh, excavate. This is the cards you want to see off of ruler mills, right? Because they allow you to progress your combo, which is um 
where the freestyle comes into play. Um, but yeah, this, like, you, you just, just end it here, just go special. You can go into Excel. Excel sends junk. You reduce. Thank you. Finally, finally my own. Thank you, Harrison. And then you're gonna have to bring back this. Uh, banish your Stardust Synchron because you have excess and that and then you have it's pretty cool and that's basically it it's a, it's a niche combo that you should be aware of because it will come up and that's basically gonna be it I'll keep pumping these out and just to see maybe if some of you guys catch it but if by then you guys haven't caught it and then I'll be like okay, this, this, is, this is significant enough to share it and this is just one of those combos, but yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let's subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.